Helldivers 2 is a live service third person shooter developed by Arrowhead Game Studios and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. In the sequel to Helldivers 1, released in 2015, Helldivers 2 immediately sucked me in as a new player to the series. I'm not familiar with aliens and shooters like this one here. In fact, I can't recall a game to even compare this to. A lot of people say something like Starship Troopers. I don't even know what that is, but whatever it is, I bet it was fun because this game is definitely one for the books. When you first get into Helldivers 2, the one thing I wasn't concerned about was the graphics. This being a $40 game, I can see it being locked at a 1080p uh, resolution. The best way is probably, that's probably the best way to endure this game, to be honest. With that being said, it's not a terrible or not even close to a bad looking game. The game has a lot of life and color um, in whatever world you're going to, even when you're transporting to the actual planet that you're on or even going to. Uh, and with all the effects and things flying at you, it's safe to say that this is a good game to look at. And, and that is okay. It, it, it has a lot of like effects and, and aliens and stuff like that. So I, I, I would think that scaling down would make sense. A few glitches here and there, nothing too major on my end. I played on PS5, by the way, so graphically it doesn't surpass many games, but you know, it, it makes up for it big time with the core element, and that is the gameplay. First off, they launch you into a tutorial immediately when you play the game, and it's it's very straightforward. Like they don't take long to explain, and the way they do it fits the theme very well. The theme of this game is democracy and space patriotism, I guess. I, I Basically, we are from this super earth and our defense is in the name of freedom and democracy. Listen, this is only only my third day out here. I, I'm, I'm still catching on to the lore, which was something else I wanted to get into. The game doesn't have a story, but it it's weird because each time I play, I can feel like we're kind of part of a bigger story in some way which is exactly what's going on here we are soldiers fighting together on these different planets and areas that have to be liberated and the outcome ultimately relies on how much work we complete uh, or liberate like everybody online which i think is awesome considering games like this don't typically get well received like i think avengers tried to do this and it just didn't do it well i think the difference is with hell divers though their gameplay isn't as repetitive. And I think that's the bread and butter of this whole game. The gunplay, the theatrics, the, the synergems. Was that how you say it? <laughs> synergems. Uh, I like the feeling of when you're touching that D-pad. Uh, I feel like Tony Stark when he's tapping that armband to call in my teammate or ammo or whatever I need. I think it's a great addition and I really appreciate stuff like that a lot. It shows attention to detail and immersing you into their world a little bit more. Um, it would have been very simple for us to just scroll up a menu on that. So, But that's not even the best part. These aliens and, and, and robots? Guys, we're on Terminator Island with it, getting it back in blood for Sarah Connor, all right? Like, I was actually going nuts. The map size is so vast and detailed, and again, it would have took a plane jet to run this on 4K. Like, these, the it, it's a lot of enemies, a lot of aliens, big, small, a lot of them splat on the screen, so much, so much happening. It's so disgusting sometimes, but it, it's fun. So, I really like that they, again, leveled it out so everybody could enjoy the same experience visually the quick play aspect makes playing alone not so lonely i was fine running with randoms because i knew we were all playing for the same objective it felt like most of the time there was no time to speak anyway i will note that going in solo isn't as fun but not a bummer in the slightest you can get some xp or more xp for yourself i guess as for that as well now, so for a casual uh, player of this type of game, I like to highlight things I might find or notice or realize that some newcomers may miss on the first day of getting the game. So your acquisitions tag, or I said acquisitions, <laughs> your acquisitions tab, which uh, can be accessed by pressing square on PlayStation is where you can find your battle pass, I guess. These are like the premium and non-premium rewards you get, uh, which feature not only different cosmetics but new weapons emotes and 
body armor, which is essential for missions as it gets harder. You can ping. Yes, this is this is the tip. Not everyone I see playing does this, and it helps a lot. Pinging can be done by pressing R1 on PlayStation to ping anything from ammo to enemies to waypoints. Trust, it saves a lot of time, and if you don't like chatting like me, it it's handy for, for communicating. You can unlock different stratagems. These are like special weapons, I like to say. You can purchase them from the ship and upgrade them in your inventory. You can get a machine gun, which is a uh, default, uh, anti-material rifle, a star warts, whatever that is, uh, a rail gun, an expendable anti-tank, a recoil rifle, a spear, which is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Uh, main reason I highlighted this is because I didn't scroll all the way down the first time and make sure you do this because they tailor some of the, some of the sections are tailored to different like areas, like where you want to go. So like all of, all of their weapons have their own purpose. So for example, the robotics workshop would probably be best for the automatons. You'll uh, start to see the connections as you play more of like, oh, this might be, this might be good for this, uh, section or this planet or yada, yada, yada. Aside from that, we have our ship module. This allows you to actually customize your ship with different types of orbital cannons, hangers, bridges, stuff like that. The, you know, normal customization stuff. Um, this little tidbit is something to get into if you want to get more involved with the community. I think everybody has this one major order and you can access this by pressing L2 on PlayStation to see what order is available at the time. I think they change out whatever time they do. I'm not sure, but it's fun to get involved in. And I think right now is the autumn times. And again, like it's giving me Terminator vibes. It's so, it's so cool. They should do collabs in the future where they actually do that, like Terminator vibes and like, like all types of predator, alien versus predator. Like these collabs could go crazy. Just saying. All right, one last little tidbit is the effects tab right next to the orders. You can access this by pressing R2 on PlayStation. This gives you a bit of insight into where you're going and what kind of conditions you're getting into. Sometimes you can have thick fog. Sometimes you can have rainstorms and all. it all depends on the environmental conditions. You could also get effect that or, or this effect that boosts requisitions and XP for things like that. So in conclusion, you want to get into this game i think you'll enjoy it very very much the alien green splatting galactic spaceship vibes is if that's definitely down your alley this is the game for you i would rate this game a solid 8 out of 10 for me this is a great great example of good price tag with also a good amount of microtransactions they have some service issues to get a hold of and the game doesn't really have that much to really give it a solid 10 out of 10 score in my opinion but it is a great great game undeniably and it is going to set pace for live service games in the future i did see micro transactions but they weren't that big of a deal to me like i said the game is great and it it's very immersive but like i said i would i would have liked you know maybe a story or something like a story mode or something like that no it just wasn't too much it was just you know it was, it was great for for its 40 dollar price tag so i really appreciate it uh, great game hope you guys enjoyed my review take care see you guys next time peace